Kathy Van Dyke, and I'm the Legacy Executive Director of Illumination Sales in California. And today, um, I am with my incredible top 10 group, and we are going to make chicken salad sandwiches using one of my newest favorite tools in my kitchen, and that is the new Chop and Prep. Hopefully all of you have this in your kitchen at this time. The Chop and Prep is designed for um, little projects in the kitchen. All those um, onions that you want to chop up, little bell peppers, um, jar, uh, can of olives. If you're doing any type of herbs, cilantro, um, dill, parsley, this is the greatest tool for it. A couple of the features is you have your non-slip uh, grip on the bottom, so it's not going to go anywhere when you are um, using it. Also, our incredible blade, which has three um, levels to it, three blades, which is going to let you get everything chopped very finely and in a matter of seconds. So this is all done by a what I call a rip cord. And all you do is you want to put it down on your counter and pull. And as you pull, it's chopping. This is great for using little cookies. You can do this for tuna. Anything you want to chop. It doesn't take much time at all. Once you have it chopped, then you're going to put it in your prep bowl. And we're going to do this a few times as we are all hungry today making some chicken salad sandwiches. We already have our pre-cooked chicken that's pre-seasoned with any type of seasoning that you want. Twist it on and pull. By the way, our chicken, stay tuned for the next um, video, was cooked in our um, new smart steamer. All right, so we have this nice and chopped up. Uh, let's see what else we can use it for. Onion, we're going to do a little bit more chicken and then put some onion in here for you. We have our dog joining us today also. <laughs> Can't have a top two meeting without all the fun. Very easy. This is something that you want to make sure you're taking to your parties. One of the things I use to demonstrate at my parties if we're not actually cooking and using it for a particular project with our cooking is I use it, I just bring celery. Bring celery in my um, handy dandy fridge smart so I can always demonstrate that. And I'll just put a couple pieces, chunks of celery in there and then I just pass it around the room and everyone has fun chopping um, that up. Now in conjunction with this, you want to bring your quick chef and talk about how you do larger projects, uh, larger cooking. This is our onion, as you can tell, the cake any time at all. We're not going to dump this in right now because I don't quite like onion. But look how finely and that took two or three minutes. So if I had taken two or three seconds, if I had taken my knives, okay, which are wonderful for your larger um, projects in your kitchen, this is going to take a whole lot longer to get um, onion chopped up. This is this fine, diced up, um, that way you don't have all that extra um, mess. Okay, to complete our chicken salad, we're going to add some mayonnaise. And of course, using our measuring cups and spoons. Okay, great. This is quite prepped and ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> measuring cups and spoons. And you know, you don't want to bring those to anything you are cooking. Have your little cooking um, set. Because when you have your measuring cups and spoons, those are a great add-on um, to their already purchasing uh, the product that they're using. But your measuring spoons, measuring cups, make sure that they know that there are... Um, a wonderful six to the set and um, with your measuring cups you always have your two-thirds cup and your three-fourths cup you're not going to find those um, with your uh, sets that you purchase at Walmart or Target you're only going to have four and every recipe calls for three-fourths and two-thirds so it's nice to have those extra benefits and with your measuring spoons you have a one-eighth and also a half um, tablespoon or it can also be a one and a half teaspoon all right, we're going to use our, our silicone spatula, Whoa. which you need any more than two or three um, spatulas in your kitchen at all times. Okay, what else do you put in this? Anyone else have any ideas? Let's it out. Okay, so we're going to add a little relish. You can add fresh onion. I'm going to put in some um, garlic powder, a little bit of salt and pepper. Other benefits of your spoons, you don't have to wash them all, just take them apart. And our wonderful new spice shakers so that you can measure and level. Mix it up, and then you're ready to have chicken salad sandwiches. Voila.